Hi folks, welcome to Dutchy Dog Cooking here at Dutchy HQ aka The Dog House. Today I'm going to be making a beef stew. Now this is an Ethiopian beef stew called a Burberry and it's to celebrate two years of Cast Iron Wednesday. Hope you enjoy. We've already got some coals going in our uh, joy stove. I'm just going to pop a small Dutch oven onto it. We're going to add one tablespoon of oil I'm just going to get this warm. Once we're ready, we've got 750 grams of braising steak. You just want to brown this steak off on all the sides. Moving it around until it's all brown. When we're happy it's all brown, we're going to remove it from the uh, Dutch oven. Then we're going to add one and a half sliced onions. We just want to cook these, we don't want to brown them. We're just going to move them around until they're nice and uh, translucent. Then we're going to add three chopped garlic cloves. One tablespoon of puree ginger. Put this out a bit. Then we're going to have the spice mix. This is two tablespoons of Burberry spice mix. I'll put this down below in the description. Ooh, the smell coming off this spice mix is amazing. Want to take the rawness off it? To this, we're going to add 400 millilitres of beef stock. This will also help deglaze the bottom of the pan, get any bits that are stuck on the bottom of the Dutch oven. Final ingredient for the stew is one tin of chopped tomatoes. Once this is all combined, all we're going to do then is just going to pop the beef back in. final stir and we're going to cook this for about two and a half hours just needs a gentle cooking so after two and a half hours we've got this rich dark brown mahogany coloured stew Give it a stir. Put the lid back on and we're going to set it aside. Now the original recipe called for sweet beets but we can't get them in the UK. So I'm going to be using kale. So I'm just going to put this kale, two handfuls, into a pan of hot water and just blanch it for about two minutes. After the two minutes, we're going to remove this onto some kitchen paper to absorb the moisture.
So now we're going to add some spice to this kale. Got a dry pan, one tablespoon of oil, two chopped garlic cloves. One tablespoon of ginger puree. One and a half tablespoons of nigella seeds. One teaspoon of ground fenugreek. And quarter a teaspoon of ground allspice. I'm just going to get this moving around, I'm just going to cut these spices out for a couple of minutes. I'm happy with that, we're just going to uh, put the kale back in, combine it with all the spice mix, and we're going to cook this for about another two minutes. Now the kale's kept its lovely green colour. So we're happy with that, we're just going to set that aside. And get the dry pan back on. And now I'm going to cook a flatbread. This is just a, a basic flatbread dough that I've already made I'll put the description in below probably not the best shaped uh, flatbread but uh, it'll do so I'm gonna cut this for about two two and a half minutes either side so that's done and now we're ready to plate the lovely mahogany colour of this stew and the smell is absolutely amazing. So there we have it, that's my Burberry beef stew served with spiced kale and a flatbread. That stew's definitely got a kick to it. That kale was really tasty. Definitely gonna do this one again. If you like what we're doing here at Dutch Cooking, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell.